Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 4.4 expressions relating to the roots of a polynomial. 4.4 represents chapter 4, section 4 of the Core Pure 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. For a quadratic equation with roots alpha and beta, we use the abbreviations sum of alpha, so the sum of the individual roots is equal to alpha plus beta, which is equal to minus b over a. Alpha beta is equal to c over a. For a cubic equation with roots alpha, beta and gamma, we use the abbreviations sum of alpha, so the sum of the individual roots, this is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma, which is equal to minus b over a. Sum of alpha, beta, so the product of the individual roots, this is equal to alpha, beta plus beta, gamma plus alpha, gamma, which is equal to c over a. Alpha, beta, gamma is equal to minus d over a. For a quartic equation with roots alpha, beta, gamma and delta, we use the abbreviations sum of alpha, so the sum of the individual roots, this is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta, which is equal to minus b over a. Sum of alpha, beta, the product of the individual roots, this is equal to alpha, beta plus alpha, gamma plus alpha, delta, plus beta, gamma plus beta, delta plus gamma, delta, which is equal to c over a. Sum of alpha, beta, gamma the product alpha, beta, gamma. This is equal to alpha, beta, gamma plus alpha, beta, delta plus beta, delta, gamma plus alpha, gamma, delta, which is equal to minus d over a. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta is equal to e over a. Let's have a look at some important rules. So rules for product of powers. For a quadratic, alpha to the power n multiplied by beta to the power n is equal to alpha, beta in bracket to the power n. For a cubic, alpha to the power n multiplied by beta to the power n multiplied by gamma to the power n is equal to alpha, beta, gamma in bracket to the power n. And finally, for a quartic, alpha to the power n multiplied by beta to the power n multiplied by gamma to the power n multiplied by delta to the power n is equal to alpha, beta, gamma, delta in bracket to the power n. Rules for sums of squares. For a quadratic, alpha squared plus beta squared is equal to alpha plus beta in bracket squared minus two lots of alpha beta. Now we know that alpha plus beta is the same as writing sum of alpha. So we have sum of alpha squared minus two lots of alpha beta. For a cubic, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma in bracket squared minus two lots of alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma. This is equal to, we know that alpha plus beta plus gamma is the same as writing sum of alpha, so we have sum of alpha squared, and we know that alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is the same as writing sum of alpha beta, so we have minus two lots of sum of alpha beta. Finally, for a quartic, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared plus delta squared is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta in bracket squared minus two lots of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta which is equal to we know that alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is the same as writing sum of alpha so we have sum of alpha squared and we know that Alpha, beta, plus alpha, gamma, plus alpha, delta, plus beta, gamma, plus beta, delta, plus gamma, delta is the same as writing sum of alpha, beta. So we have minus two lots of sum of alpha, beta. Next up, we have rules for sums of cubes. For a quadratic, alpha cubed plus beta cubed is equal to alpha plus beta in bracket cubed minus three lots of alpha, beta multiplied by alpha plus beta. We know that alpha beta is the same as writing sum of alpha, so we can write down sum of alpha in bracket cube minus three lots of alpha beta multiplied by sum of alpha. Finally, for a cubic, alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma in bracket cube minus three lots of alpha plus beta plus gamma multiplied by alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma in bracket, okay? Plus three lots of alpha beta gamma. So this is the same as writing sum of alpha in bracket cubed minus three lots of sum of alpha multiplied by sum of alpha beta plus three lots of alpha beta gamma. Finally, we're going to look at rules for reciprocals. For a quadratic, we have one over alpha plus one over beta is equal to beta plus alpha over alpha beta. Now the numerator is the same as writing sum of alpha and then we have it over alpha beta. Next up, we have a cubic 
So 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over gamma is equal to beta gamma plus alpha gamma plus alpha beta all over alpha beta gamma. The numerator is the same as writing sum of alpha beta. Then we have this over alpha beta gamma. Finally, for a quartic, we have 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over gamma plus 1 over delta. This is equal to beta gamma delta plus alpha gamma delta plus alpha beta delta plus alpha beta gamma all over alpha beta gamma delta. Now we know that the numerator is the same as writing sum of alpha beta gamma. We have this over alpha beta gamma delta. These are the key facts of 4.4 expressions relating to the roots of a polynomial. I'll be implementing these key facts within one example and two exam style questions. Here is an example. A cubic equation has roots alpha, beta and gamma. Given that sum of alpha is equal to 3 over 2, sum of alpha, beta is equal to minus 4 over 3, and alpha, beta, gamma is equal to 1 over 2, find part A, 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over gamma. Okay, so let's have a look at the solution to part A. 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over gamma is equal to beta gamma plus alpha gamma plus alpha beta all over alpha beta gamma. We can rewrite the numerator as sum of alpha beta. This is over alpha beta gamma equal to, we know that sum of alpha beta is equal to minus 4 over 3. Divide by, we know that alpha beta gamma is equal to a half. So this is equal to minus 8 over 3. Moving on to part B. So now we want to work out alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. So we have alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. Let's go back to the rules for sums of squares but for a cubic. So we know that alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared is equal to alpha plus beta plus gamma in bracket squared minus two lots of alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma equal to that is the same as writing sum of alpha so sum of alpha in bracket squared minus two lots of this is the same as writing sum of alpha beta so from the question we know that sum of alpha is 3 over 2 so we can write 3 over 2 in bracket squared minus 2 lots of we know that sum of alpha beta is minus 4 over 3 so this is equal to 59 over 12 moving on to part c so in part c we have alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed right so now we're looking at sums of cubes we know that for a cubic alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed is given by alpha plus beta plus gamma in bracket cubed then we have minus three lots of alpha plus beta plus gamma multiplied by alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma close bracket plus three lots of alpha beta gamma right we can rewrite this as sum of alpha in bracket cubed minus three lots of sum of alpha multiplied by sum of alpha beta plus three lots of alpha beta gamma this is equal to 3 over 2 to the power 3 minus 3 lots of 3 over 2 multiplied by minus 4 over 3 plus 3 lots of a half. So this is equal to 87 over 8. Moving on to part D. So in part D we have alpha cubed multiplied by beta cubed multiplied by gamma cubed so now we're using rules for product of powers so we can rewrite this as 
alpha, beta, gamma in bracket cubed. So this is equal to a half cubed, which gives you 1 over 8. This completes the example. Here is an exam style question. The roots of the equation 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 7 is equal to 0 are alpha, beta and gamma. Part A, write down the values of alpha plus beta plus gamma, alpha, beta plus beta, gamma plus gamma, alpha, and alpha, beta, gamma. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. First and foremost, I'm going to read off the coefficients of the cubic. So we have that A, the coefficient of x cubed is equal to 2. B, the coefficient of x squared is equal to 4. C, the coefficient of x is 0. And D, the constant term is 7. So now I want to work out alpha plus beta plus gamma. We're looking at a cubic. So alpha plus beta plus gamma is given by minus b over a equal to, we have that this is minus 4 over 2, which is minus 2. Next up, we want to calculate alpha, beta plus beta, gamma plus gamma, alpha. Now for a cubic, this is given by c over a. So we have c over a. If I substitute the values in, I get 0 over 2, which is equal to 0. Next up, we have alpha, beta, gamma. This is given by minus d over a. So I've got um, minus 7 over 2. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B. Hence, find the values of part 1, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. So let's look at part B. Part 1. We have alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared. We're looking at the rules for sums of squares. But in particular, we're looking at the cubic. So alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared is given by alpha plus beta plus gamma in bracket squared minus two lots of alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma. So this is equal to, we've got the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma minus two. So I've got minus two squared minus two lots of I've got the value of alpha, beta, plus beta, gamma, plus alpha, gamma. This is zero. Okay, so this is equal to four. Moving on to part B, part two. So in part two of the question, I want to work out alpha cubed, beta cubed, gamma cubed. Okay, so now we're looking at rules for product of powers. So this is the same as writing alpha, beta, gamma in bracket cubed. Okay, so this is equal to, we know that alpha, beta, gamma is minus 7 over 2 in bracket cubed. This gives me minus 343 over 8. And so this completes the exam style question. Here is the next exam style question. The roots of the equation x to the power 4 plus 2x to the power 2 minus x plus 3 equal to 0 are alpha, beta, gamma and delta. Part A, write down the values of sum of alpha, sum of alpha, beta, sum of alpha, beta, gamma and alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Right, so in part A, we are going to begin by working out the value of sum of alpha. First and foremost, I'm going to read off the coefficients of the quartic. So I've got A equal the coefficient of x to the power 4, which is 1. B equal the coefficient of x to the power 3, which is 0. C, which is the coefficient of x to the power 2, that is 2. D, which is the coefficient of x, that is minus 1. And E is the constant term, 3. We are looking at a quartic. So for a quartic, sum of alpha is equal to minus b over a. So I've got minus 0 over 1, which is equal to 0. Right, next up, I'm going to work out the value of sum of alpha beta. 
Now sum of alpha beta is given by c over a. So this is equal to 2 over 1, which is 2. Right, I'm going to move on and I'm going to calculate sum of alpha, beta, gamma. Okay, so sum of alpha, beta, gamma. This is equal to minus d over a, which is equal to minus minus 1 over 1. This is equal to 1. And then finally, I've got um, alpha, beta, gamma, delta to calculate, which is given by e over a which is equal to 3 over 1. This is equal to 3. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B. So in part B, hence, so we have to refer back to our answer in part A, find the values of 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over gamma plus 1 over delta, and then part 2, alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared plus delta squared. So let's have a look at part 1 of part B. So 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta plus 1 over gamma plus 1 over delta. This is equal to beta, gamma, delta plus alpha, gamma, delta plus alpha, beta, delta plus alpha, beta, gamma. All over alpha, beta, gamma, delta equal to, we can rewrite the numerator as sum of alpha, beta, gamma, all over alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Now sum of alpha, beta, gamma was calculated and it is 1 over, also we have calculated alpha, beta, gamma, delta, that was 3, so we have 1 over 3. Moving on to part 2 of part B. Now we want to calculate alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared plus delta squared. Okay, so we are looking at rules for sums of squares and we are actually interested in the quartic. So we need to go to this rule over here. We have that this is the same as writing alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta in bracket squared minus two lots of alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta gamma plus beta delta plus gamma delta close bracket equal to we can rewrite this as sum of alpha in bracket squared minus two lots of sum of alpha beta equal to 0 squared minus 2 lots of the sum of alpha beta is 2 by the way that 0 is basically a sum of alpha anyways we can continue with this so this is equal to minus 4 and that there ladies and gents completes this exam style question and this teaching video 4.4 expressions relating to the roots of a polynomial. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.